Alright guys, it's Pliskin. Today I'm doing a video on how to make a 308 bullet necklace. Here is my practice example that I did. See I marked it with a black sharpie so I would know which one was which. It right, has the hole drilled in it and I left the primer as it is. It didn't touch that. Alright, so let's begin. I'll show you how I started it. Okay, so here is my my brass I'm going to do for my actual the actual necklace. That was a practice one, like I said, but uh, it's a Z, ZQI brass. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my resizing die RCBS resizing die into the press here. They're already configured to my M1A. These are my 308 dies. They're already configured to my M1A, so everything's set up and ready to go. So I put some of this powder on it, run it down the brush. rub that off and then I have like this uh, it's called a imperial sizing die wax and I take a finger of this stuff and lube the case up so that's lubed and ready to go up into the sizing die put it in okay sized it now I take the sizing die out sizing die back and I put the seating die in this is to seat the bullet grab a 168 grain Amax bullet you can use any bullet you want in there all right next phase is drilling the hole now the reason I'm using a brass bullet instead of a steel bullet is because I was thinking of ways I could be creative in making a 308 necklace I'll explain further all right so now I have the bullet in the vise with a white cloth holding on to it so it doesn't mar the sides of it and I've got my power drill here the drill bit I am using is a 1 8 drill bit so let's get started alright where I'm beginning to drill on the bullet is about right here see this is another one I've done about right there that's where I'm going to be drilling on the brass one I'm sorry if the camera is wobbling I've got the tripods height almost maxed out and any little nudge or bump will cause it to vibrate and shake so I do apologize for that so anyway let's begin let me make sure my drill is going yep oh, no. make sure my drill bits going the right way all right The hole is going to be a little off.
punch through. Going through the other side. Alright, set it to reverse. There we go. Alrighty. Uh, it is extremely hot out in this garage this morning. Let's see. Alright. All right, so I've got the bullet drilled. Now I need to deburr it with a file. So, I'll grab a file here. Of course, any O file will work. I found that this one on the test one I did uh, had the best um, gripping power uh, to remove uh, material. So, to start removing the burrs and it will kind of scuff up your uh, hole a little bit on the, on the sides that can't be helped I mean unless you want sharp brass poking into you while you're wearing it uh, it's better to remove it than to keep it unless you're okay with uh, brass poking you or steel or whatever case you decide to use. I will admit that it was not as bad as the other one I did and it is definitely not as bad as the steel casings I've done. Alright, so that basically wraps up the deburring it. All you really want to do is just get all the excess metal that poked out when that drill bit went through. So that way you're not uh, cutting and scraping yourself while you wear it. Alright, next take a bead necklace or any necklace that you're wanting to use. It doesn't have to be a bead one. I always use bead necklaces and run it through your hole. Run your bead necklace or any necklace that you're using through. Clip them. Connect it that up here. And there you're basically, that is your complete necklace there. Yep, the necklace is complete, and I have to say it looks better than my uh, than my test model that I used. All right, so now I got it done. I bet a lot of you are wondering, well, why did you choose brass over steel? I mean, you just wasted a brass bullet. True, I did, and I actually wasted a real bullet too. But the thing is, I have probably close to 250 brass upstairs in the gun room ready to load and another 130 that I have not shot up yet but um, I mostly chose to do brass to mix it up a bit because I have used steel in the past as you can see and it looks kind of bland I mean kind of like un well kind of just eh boring in a way and I figured that this would look a little bit cooler like oh he must have bought that somewhere or something but it'd be like no I made that and the best part is you could say it's a bullet that you got to shoot too a bullet that actually came out of your gun instead of finding a brass or a not brass a steel case bullet at your local range like I have I've not shot steel out of my M1A and I don't plan to not the M1A loaded but 
Anyway, that was the reason why I chose to use brass instead of steel. Uh, the choice is yours on which one you choose to use. I've done steel before and it is a, the process is about the same besides putting the bullet in. The drilling process is about the same but you do have to deform the case on a steel one a little bit. See, it's kind of flat right there. You do have to deform the case in order for the drill bit to um, grab hold of the steel and start drilling because it'll slide off of there. So that is the reason why I went with brass this time around. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll see you all in the next video.